What's up Guardians? Profane here. Thanks for checking out the video. Would you like to cut down on the monotonous farm for silver leaves during this year's solstice event? If so, then you're in the right place because today I'll be going over the best methods to quickly and easily farm for silver leaves, which will be needed to acquire silver ash, which are then used in leveling up your solstice armor. And you'll also need kindling, but first let's talk about silver leaves and how you can quickly obtain them. The first method I would recommend is farming public events, specifically those that are on the EDZ. If timed out correctly, you can ride a chain of continuous public events all the way around the EDZ. And when you do have to wait on a public event, the EDZ offers some of the fastest law sectors for you to knock out while waiting. Normal law sectors reward one silver leaf for each completion, while public events will reward between two and four. So by farming the law sectors and public events on the EDZ, you'll be able to rack in a ton of silver leaves in a short amount of time. The next method is to hit up the Terminal Overload on Neomuna. This public event rotates between the three areas within Neomuna. With a good lobby, you can get these completed in just a few minutes, with the final chests each rewarding four silver leaves. The advantage to this farm is that you can reloot the main chest for additional silver leaves. While these chests have been patched, when it comes to loot and XP, they still reward additional silver leaves, so you can easily Sparrow out of the area and double back to reloot these chests after each terminal overload. If you time it out properly, you should be able to reloot this chest two more times. The third method is going to be the most lucrative for most guardians. Hitting up the Altar of Sorrows and completing all seven stages will reward upwards of 20 silver leaves. You'll also receive one silver leaf at the end of each stage, providing you with an exceptionally fast farm that rivals farming public events. It'll take you between 10 and 15 minutes in most cases to complete all seven stages of an Altar of Sorrows, but with anywhere between 20 and 30 silver leaves as a reward, this is a great opportunity. Once you've earned enough silver leaves, you'll need to hit up a bonfire bash so that they can be converted into silver ash. The most silver ash that you can receive at the end of a bonfire is 20. For the most success during bonfire bashes, I would recommend splitting your team up with two teammates staying on opposite sides of the map, with the third teammate bouncing back and forth. As long as you are in a spot where you have good line of sight to the bonfire, you should be able to throw all three ignitions that drop from the igniters. But there's some areas where you just won't have a good view, which is where a teammate can really come in handy since those ignitions will disappear quickly. This is going to allow you to have the maximum amount of ignitions each and every time. Time efficiency is an extremely important aspect during the bonfire bashes, so using swords with eager edge will help your mobility significantly, as will utilizing strand grapples and amplified speed boosts. And with that, we've covered three different ways that you can easily and quickly farm for silver leaves during Solstice of 2023. By using any of the three methods that we discussed today, you'll be earning silver leaves lightning fast so that you can be able to upgrade all of your solstice armor to which i wish you all the best of luck throughout the rest of this event and throughout the rest of this season if you've got any additional tips or tricks in earning silver leaves silver ash or kindling then be sure to let us know in the comments down below and thank you as always for checking out the video if you enjoyed and found it helpful then be sure to hit the like button below along with the subscribe button if you're new. Both are greatly appreciated, and both really do help support the channel. And until next time, Guardians, this has been Profane, wishing you all some happy hunting.